In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy A8 tab from 2022 for the first time. So once you open up, you should see this screen. By the way, when you uh, pull it out of the box, you just need to press this power button during three seconds. And after a few seconds, this screen should appear. So let's start the process step by step. First, you'll have this screen here. You need to select your language. You have the ch to choose between many languages here. Choose yours. Mine is English from Canada. I'll leave it like this. Once you're done, press OK. Then press the Start button. Here, there is some agreements that you need to read. And once you're done reading them, you need to press on this small icon here. I have read and agree to all of the above. It will check mark all of them. And then you need to press the next button. Now it will search for a Wi-Fi network and you need to connect to one to continue. Select yours from the list that is showing up here. Mine is this one. Now you'll have to enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. So I'll do that. Okay, I'm done entering my password. And if you want the tablet to connect to the same network every time without you to select it manually, you need to check this auto reconnect option right here. Okay, and press connect when you're done. Okay, here you can see that we connected to the Wi-Fi network. We can press the next button right over here. It will take a few seconds to go to the next step. Let me remove these. All right. In this screen, they will ask you if you want to transfer your apps, photo, contacts, Google account, and other things. Let's say you had another tablet and you want to transfer whatever was on the other tablet on this new one. You'll need to press next and then you'll do it. But now I want to start fresh. I want to start from zero. So I'll just press the don't copy here. Right here, it will ask you to sign in into your Google account. So if you have a Gmail, you have a Google account, you just need to enter it right over here. This will be useful to download apps from the Play Store. So I highly suggest you do it. This is what I'll do right now. So I'll enter my email address associated with my Google account. Okay, now just press the next button here once you're done entering your email address. And now you'll have to enter the password related to that email address. Okay, so I'm done entering my password. All you have to do is to press the next button. Now there is a two-step verification. Check your phone, you should get a message, the phone that is connected with this Google account, and you'll have to press yes. So here I have my phone and the message is right here. All you have to do is say, yes, it's me. Press here. Back on the tablet here, once you press yes on the phone, as I just showed you, you'll have this screen appearing. You need to press I agree. And this will add the Google account to the tablet. Here you have a few options that you can turn on or off. You can back up uh, to Google Drive. Let's say you don't want, just press once here. Use location, allow scanning. You know, these you can turn them off. It's up to you, really. Send usage and di diagnostic data. Turn off this if you don't want it. And once you're done reading this and accepting or uh, turning things off, you just need to press the blue accept button right over here. Now it will ask you how do you want to protect your tablet? So do you want uh, to use face recognition from the camera? Do you want to use a pattern on the screen every time you uh, want to use the tablet, a pin code or a password? 
Here I won't use any of these, so I'll just skip um, by pressing the skip button right down here. It will ask again, do you really want to skip? I'll press skip anyway. On this page, it's asking you if you want the Google Assistant. So if you want, you can say, hey Google, and then ask questions, do stuff. If you want to have it, just press the agree. If you don't want it, just press skip here. I'll press skip. The second page is again about the assistant, access your assistant without unlocking your phone, in this case a tablet. If you don't want the Google Assistant, just press skip here. If you have a Samsung account and you want to link it with this new tablet of yours, then you'll have to log in right here. I don't have a Samsung account and honestly, I don't think it's useful. So I'll just press the skip button right on this corner. There will be a small pop-up saying, hey, you're gonna miss out on these super nice features. Do you really want to miss out? Yes, I don't think they're important. So let's press the skip button. And finally, you're all set up. Just press the blue finish button. And in a few seconds, you're gonna see all your um, apps appearing and you'll be able finally to use your brand new tablet. So this was it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If not, I'll see you in the next one. I have many tutorials with this tablet if you want to learn more on how to use it.